Hey everybody, it is a beautiful day today. It's first part of September, We're going into fall. And I thought I wanted to share with you, since the kids are all going back to school, it's a great day, time for education. Ed Families, for you, for me. I wanted to share how about negative thoughts. This is video number one. We'll talk about negative thoughts this week and how powerful they are, what the difference they make in your life. So this is part one. What I want to share with you is a lot of a, a lot of times we use the word try, trying, and tried. And we don't even realize how powerful it is. Hey Jerica. I but what happens is when you use the word try, trying, or tried, what you're doing is you're setting yourself up for failure in advance. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you were a client my client, I would have you sit down and hold a pen and then I would tell you to try to pick it up but not pick it up or try to put it down and not put it down now a lot of times this happens and people think oh you're kind of crazy what do you mean try to pick it up or try to pick it down you can't just try to pick up a pen or try to put it down you just do it right you know like Yoda says you either do or you don't and that's really the answer because what happens is when you say the word try what you're doing is you're setting yourself up for failure in advance. Or when you say, I tried, see what you did is you gave yourself a way out. Now what do I mean by that? Well, what if I told you, you know, this weekend I'm going to clean my basement. And I asked you if you'd help me and you say, you know, I'll try to be there. What am I really saying? Or what are you really saying? Well, are you going to be there? Now, some of you might say, yeah, I'll be there. You're my friend. I, if you need my help. But anytime you say the words try, what you're doing is you're giving yourself a way out so that when that day comes and you don't show up, you can say, you know, gosh, I tried to be there. And that's the same thing with our goals is whenever you say the word try, it's kind of like a gear. You know, your subconscious is listening and, you're, and this gear moves smoothly. And when you say the word try, it's kind of like it puts a kink in it. And it's like, I'm not sure what to do. Am I going to do it or not do it? Do it or not do it? And it kind of gets you stuck. So the, one of the greatest things for you to do is to listen to what you're saying. Especially when it comes to your goals. And when you say, you know, I'll try to do it. You know, whether it's you know, lose weight. Oh, I'm going to try to lose weight. Or, you know, I've tried in the past and it's just not worked. But listen to what you're saying to yourself and it's going to give you the key of what is in your subconscious and what those stories are that are holding you back. Anyway, if you want some help to find out what those stories are, give me a call. I am Shelly Jo Wallstrom, the amino acid lady and hypnotherapist, and I would love to help you if I can. Look forward to talking to you later. See ya. Bye.